what's going on everybody it's patrick mid 10 outdoors how's my outdoor crew doing on this saturday morning i hope this video finds you well so i've gotten into kind of a kick here lately of getting old cameras working again and usable so <laughs> i was upstairs the other night and ran across this old guy right here it's a nikon cool picks here's a better look at it from this camera but uh 6.0 megapixels iso 800 2.4 inch screen um if our memory serves me oh and this takes uh double a batteries if my memory serves me correctly i think this one got dropped and you'll notice the lens does a kind of a funny thing. It won't zoom in and out anymore. But, uh, of course, there's no memory card. But, it I mean, it's its working. This is out of memory. But, uh, anyway, so I found this old camera. I threw some batteries in it to see if it would come on, do anything. And it did. It did a couple, you know, it did that. And I was able to take a couple pictures here and there. But, um something else i found that i'm actually trying to find the battery for it and i'm actually recording on it right now and i keep going between shots between me using this one and using this one now right now i've got my canon sl3 set up with the 24 millimeter pancake lens and everything behind me should be kind of blurry it's just on me now when i look at this screen it changes and gets a little different so what i let me let me pick up and show you what I'm actually recording on here is this. This is the first camera that I actually recorded YouTube videos on. It's, uh, it, it is a DVD HDD. Oh, can you see it? Excuse me. It is a DVD HDD and it has a memory card inside. And what you can do is after you get the recording, you can throw everything on the memory card and put it on a computer or you can record to dvd uh the micro dvds back then so i'm recording on both actually i'm gonna stop this one because i don't know how long it's going to take to dump over to the hd or the uh the little card <laughs> sd card that's what i'm trying to say um real quick i did get the pictures my first test pictures back from my 35 millimeter experience I'll throw this one up. It wasn't so great, but I'll throw these up that actually turned out fairly well. Um, now, I haven't sat down in Lightroom yet to play with them, but what I'll do is I will play with them a little bit before I actually put them up on the screen. So when, when you see these come up on the screen, they've been through Lightroom and I adjusted the color. I will recommend if you have a 35 millimeter or getting into shooting 35 millimeter, do not send it to Walgreens. Walgreens is great for little picture. I mean, if you want to just get one of the disposables, you know, done up, that's fine. But if you're wanting to get the best out of the picture, now the camera, there's a lot of learning curve still with it. And I'm still going to be working with it quite a bit. So I will get better pictures as we go with it too. Um, I learned a couple things just from shooting what I have shot with it. Um, anyway, I've got another little camera I have found. And I know everybody's probably thinking, why are you firing up all these cameras? Because they can give you a really cool image from time to time that you weren't looking for or that you didn't know you could get. And without having to do any kind of playing with it or anything like that, it just gives you a whole different look. So that's what i'm going for this year is more of the filming and how i film and giving different aspects i've seen this done on a couple other youtube channels out there and i thought i want to try it because i think i've still got the old cameras and with having this old girl still around i gotta find the battery for it if not i will order a battery for this thing if i can find one i'd be willing to bet i can find one for it um it's just a matter of looking look for the the pam the manual online see what battery it took order it be done um i was actually able to order a charger 
I don't have it out here with me, but the little camera I was showing you, the other Nikon, I was able to order a charger for it. It should have it in the middle of next week. And um, we'll do some test runs with it too and throw it in on a Saturday vlog or something. But anyway, so that's it on this one. I want to remind you that May 13th through the 15th um, camping trip, people are starting to make the reservations. We've got one coming from Texas now and some others coming possibly one from alabama that we know of that was at the unofficial first one um i'm planning on making special stickers to hand out to the youtubers or instagrammers or whatever you are that comes so you'll have a special sticker from me at this event so anyways i look forward to anybody that's able to make it I understand there's a lot of people that watch me that are not in the area and I get that and I understand that but um, that's something else I may try to do this year is travel out to some other gatherings that may be out of state and we'll see um, weather starting to get nice 70 degrees today it's supposed to be 70 again tomorrow and nice Saturday so I'm getting out Saturday to do some stuff but uh, stay tuned we got a lot coming would love to see you May 13th through the 15th. Come to the Mountain State Park, State of Tennessee. Come down, hang out with us for the weekend. Uh, me and Tennessee Deer Stalker are staying like his my camp, his campsite's over here, mine's over here. So anyway, I think I noted it. I'll matter of fact, up above, I'll leave a link to that video that talks about the campgrounds and everything. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Have a great Saturday. Drink your coffee and uh, have fun. Be prepared and see you on the next one.